Happy Cinco de Mayo, babies! You're a party animal, I'm wearing my party top. Today's a marathon, so pull up your chonies because we're making two Cinco de Mayo recipes. We're making a very spicy watermelon-y margarita and we're making homemade churros because what is Cinco de Mayo without churros? First up, we're making the margarita and it's not for you underagers out there, okay? You can make it um, virgin. You can just sans the alcohol and just do blended up ice and watermelon and you get basically the same thing. So we're gonna make our margarita. First thing you're gonna wanna put, ice. I got this lime ice, and pro tip, when your ice is frozen and you want to break it up, drop it on the ground, it's a party everybody. I like my drinks to be slushy, so we're going to put that much ice. Then I cubed up some watermelon, some fresh sweet watermelon, and I'm just going to drop in some watermelon, like a so. I'm going to squeeze the juice out of one wedge of lemon. And then, we're going to add in some Bahama Mama, frozen, except mine is not frozen. About a shot of this daiquiri, because it calls for like orange liqueur, but I don't have that. So, we're gonna wing it. Now it's time for the tequila! Tequila! I've never made margaritas before, so I hope this turns out well. I'm gonna add in about that much tequila. We're gonna be adding in the juice from the jalapeno jar, because we're living dangerously. Like that much. There's no measurements here, guys. Blending time, baby! Oh, that is delicious. We're going to take this margarita up a notch. First, add in some jalapenos, na 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 na, and some watermelon, and now, we're going to add a Corona Rita in our margarita for the world's best margarita Corona Rita concoction this world's ever seen. Pour it into a big old jar. You're just gonna drop that baby in. And that is the world's best margarita Corona Rita. So now it's time for the taste test. Cheers, babies! She's missing the salt on the rim. <laughs> I'm missing the salt. Missing the salt on the rim. <laughs> gonna rim it with salt and sugar. You add in, just for kicks and shits and giggles, and the lemon there. Happy Cinco de Mayo! Well, it was entertaining watching you make it. Mm. Cinco de Mayo! That is good! That's good! I'd party with this. Let's party with it. Alright, cool. Great video. <laughs> I'll see you later. Cheers! Happy Cinco de Mayo! The second thing that we're gonna make is the churros, the homemade churros. I found a recipe on Pinterest, and I'll link you guys, but you take Sara Lee, the frozen pound cake, and you thaw it out, and then you cut it into little cubes, like a so, and then you pan fry them until they're golden brown, and then you roll them around in equal parts sugar and cinnamon. I've already cut up my pieces of cake, and now I'm just gonna fry them in my oil, and then we're gonna immediately toss it and coat it in the sugar cinnamon. Okay, now that we have fried them up and they're golden brown, we're tossing them around in the sugar cinnamon concoction. And now, we are ready to try them. Guinea pig. <laughs> Get low. Mmm. Oh my god. Oh my god. Mm. I love how it's like drenched in oil and just cooked and... Yeah, it's pretty good. If my trainer's watching this, I'm really sorry. Cool, I dig these it. These are yeah. so good. I give these two greasy cinnamon sugar thumbs up. Give them one. Have a bite. Yummy. Mmm. All right, party animals. I don't know why I keep referring to you as party animals. We made it! We made homemade churros, and we made our own margarita carnarita that's very watermelony and uh, spicy, and it's so good. So I hope you guys try this out. If you do, please tag me. And um, over on my blog, justlum.com, I put the entire recipe step by step over there with some awesome pictures, so I'll link you to that. And let me know in the comments, what are you guys doing for Cinco de Mayo? I hope you guys have a safe and happy Cinco de Mayo weekend. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next week. Bye! Oh, they're so sugary.